Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Action. Now today I'm doing a discussion on the recent episode 8 of Dragon Ball Super that has revealed, and this is even on Konzenshu guys, that Beerus against Raging Vegeta was only using 10% of his power, or as it was stated, 1 tenth, which would be 10%. Now, there are people that have said they've seen ones that say 1%. Apparently those are incorrect. I have not seen those, uh, but Beerus was using 10% as stated in the episode. And this brings up a lot of things. Now, all this is definitely subject to change throughout the series, depending on what they do. But as of now, guys, even Konzenshu has, a, uh, you know, commented and stated that this was a 10% uh, usage of power by Beerus against Raging Vegeta. So this would pretty much mean that Super Saiyan God would be about six times the strength of Super, uh, Raging Vegeta. Uh, which is pretty funny to put that in perspective, and I feel like there really is something wrong here. Um, this kind of underwhelms a lot of the godly tier characters in a lot of ways. They are presented to be very strong. Now, I never imagined them to be thousands of times stronger like a lot of people thought, but I did think dozens to maybe hundreds of times stronger at the most. But this is pretty much saying that, you know, whatever, we don't really know what, Beerus was using against Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we can maybe assume it was 10%, but uh, that wouldn't be the case because Beerus stated that, you know, you're the first person in a long time to made me go 10%. So, my guess is that he was probably using like, maybe like 1-5% to against Goku, it's very unclear, but he was putting pretty much no effort into Goku. Um, so that begs the question, when you compare this to GT characters, this is what people kind of have been uh, going off on the last day or so. Pretty much this means that even since 10% Beerus would be around uh, Raging Vegeta's power, um, this kind of begs the question on how strong are GT characters in comparison to the Battle of Gods stuff. And as a lot of people know that base Goku from GT is about the same strength as a Super Saiyan 3 form. He may even be stronger. I know a lot of people say like, oh, he had to go Super Saiyan to beat Rildo. Wasn't really the case. Against Rildo, he went Super Saiyan to kind of impress him. He knew, uh, go Rildo knew that Goku was holding back in his base. It's more evident in the Japanese subtitles, but at the least, Goku's base form is about his Super Saiyan 3. Now, I know we don't really know how strong Goku's Super Saiyan 3 was in Dragon Ball Super and Battle of Gods, but for the sake of this video, I'm kind of scaling it down a bit. But even if it's as strong as Mr. Gohan, or even stronger like some people say, I still don't think it makes much of a difference here, to be honest. So, a Super Saiyan multiplier obviously is 50 times base. So, Super Saiyan 3 times 50. If we even say that Goku Super Saiyan 3 against Beerus, that was 1% of Beerus' power. Let's just say that. 50 times that is 50%. That's pretty close to Super Saiyan God power already. Super Saiyan 2 is 100%. Hypothetically speaking off of this episode, you know, obviously like I said, everything completely subject to change here, guys. Super Saiyan 2 hypothetically is around the realm of Beerus' power. Super Saiyan 2 Goku from GT. Uh, I know it's hard to believe, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate from this video, and I completely expect that. Uh, so Super Saiyan 3, that's 400 times base. That would annihilate Beerus, regardless of whether or not, even if Beerus was using like 0.5% of his power, that would still be about twice the strength of Beerus, which is enough to dominate someone. And let's not even touch upon Super Saiyan 4, which most fans agree, there is no official multiplier, but most fans agree that it's a 10 times multiplier Super Saiyan 3 based on Goku's performance against Grade 8 Baby Vegeta. So that's 4,000 times base. So you put that against Beerus, and mathematically speaking, it's a wish-wash battle. It's not even a fight. Goku mops the floor with him. Of course, that's mathematically speaking, and this is all subject to change. And who knows, you know, maybe in the official subtitled version, it's going to be a little bit different. Maybe he'll say something a little bit different, because I don't know how numbers... Uh, translate to English for, you know, Japanese things. I don't know how that works. I'm taking Konzenshu's word here for it. Uh, all that considered, at least. Super Saiyan 4 would completely mop the floor. Super Saiyan 2 Goku would match him, just about. Um, and it's been obvious that you don't need Godly Key to beat a being with God power. So, I think that these GT characters, even Baby Vegeta, would be able to beat Beerus and pretty much Whis. And the final point I want to make here in this video, guys, is something that's leading into something new. Uh, a new video. I know a lot of people are going to be saying this in the comments. 
They're going to be talking about the GT, I believe it's GT comic, that stated that Vegito was about the same strength as Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm going to touch upon that in a video this weekend. I'll annotate at the end of this. It's not going to be out when this video is up, but later on in the future, you guys will see it's annotated. It'll be there. Click on it. Later on, there will be a video discussing that whole Vegito being equal to, Go uh, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. My thoughts on it. I have some interesting points to make in terms of the writing and the teams that worked on these two series, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. But right now, uh, obviously, Dragon Ball Super just put a number out there for Beerus. Um, that's a problem. They should have left it ambiguous, in my opinion. And like I said, guys, again, subject to change. It's all subject to change completely. Uh, but right now... Mathematically speaking and, you know, scaling-wise, GT characters hypothetically should be stronger than Battle of Gods and, you know, Dragon Ball Super characters. Which, honestly, guys, I don't know why anyone cares. Um, they have to fight over. I'm just, you know, giving my thoughts, sharing my opinion. And I know it's going to be guys fighting over it, but it doesn't really matter who's stronger. Um, you know, it's so ambiguous to both sides until this point, really, that it's been kind of silly to fight over and people get really aggressive. And I know it's gonna happen here too that's fine uh, so I should probably cut the video off here doesn't really matter which is stronger I've always found that you know Super Saiyan 4's design was incredible but if you like Beerus go for it like Beerus it doesn't matter if he's weaker and maybe he is stronger maybe it was an error in the subtitled version I don't know how they went about it but that's just my thoughts opinions and analysis guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but other than that like thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later